How do you know if a film is good? I mean, that a film is art. I mean, you might think that the film is good because you enjoyed it, but then you might enjoy a film just because it's got loads of chases and explosions in it. It might not be art. You want to be able to say with confidence to your educated and intellectual friends, oh yes, I saw this film. It's really good. You should go to see it. And then without feeling any embarrassment at all, you can know that when they go to see it, they're not going to come back and say, that was rubbish. It was just a load of chases and explosions. Well, you know, one way of, of telling whether a, a film is not good is, does it have Steven Seagal in? And I, I admit, I did once actually see a Steven Seagal film. Just once. Okay, I'm admitting it. I'm coming, I'm coming clean, coming up front, but I learned my lesson and I have never since paid money to see any film with Steven Seagal. And in fact, I've saved myself quite a lot of time when I look in the paper and it says that there's a film on tonight and it's about this, that and the other. And oh, I've not heard of this film. It was quite recent as well. And oh, that sounds quite an interesting plot. And oh, it's starring Steven Seagal. Okay, I won't see it then. I've saved myself some time. You can do the same with Jean-Claude Van Damme films. Oh, except actually JCVD. Uh, which is a film easy and is actually quite good, surprising. Anyway, um, you want to have a test, don't you? Well, I'm going to suggest to you a test that you can use, which I think is quite effective. What you do is you imagine that you are the presenter of a television programme that discusses the latest films. Uh, you, you, as a presenter, you watch the film, you review the film to the audience, and perhaps you interview the, the directors and, and other people involved in making the films. And you sit down to do an interview. He's the director, so obviously he knows what the film's about. You've seen it, and he knows that you've seen it. So are you going to ask him the question, what is this film about? If the question, what is this film about, is a stupid question, then the film is not art. Because imagine, uh, it, it is a Steven Seagal film, let's imagine. Uh, Steven Seagal plays a tough, uncompromising cop who gets things done, and even he has to break the rules, and he's got a gun and a, and a pair of fists, and he hits people and shoots people, and uh, he investigates some cocaine smugglers, and uh, he has to go to a strip club for some reason whilst they're actually doing their act in the background, and then coolly ignore everything they're doing in the background whilst he interviews... Uh, the, the manager of the strip club, and even though the music's quite loud, they can hear what each other are saying really easily. You know, this this film? And then uh, at some point he has to hand in his badge and his gun because he was given 24 hours by his boss. You know the plot, right? Um, and it all ends up with them in a dark um, room. He's on his own. He's up against all the major uh, villains, and there's a shootout right, right at the end, and against the odds he shoots them all and wins! Yeah, that's not actually what the film's about. That's a summary of the plot. If, what is this film about? If the answer to that, if the only sensible answer to that question is a summary of the plot, it's not art. If a film is about something more than its plot, maybe it's art. So you could actually then reasonably sit down and say to the director, what is this film about? Um, and then he might say, well, actually, it's about the search for identity, or it's about getting back to our roots. It's, it's about uh, learning to trust others. It's about, there's some theme that this film is really about, it's exploring, and maybe it's a little bit vague, but it's there. If that's what the director feels that it's really about, and that's what he was trying to get at, using the story merely as a medium to explore this theme that he's got, then it's art. So there you go. So imagine you're sitting down in front of the director. Are you going to ask him with a straight face, so what is this film about?